When one man is the jerk of the century, an unlikely trio team up to take him down. That is the story behind Gambit, a comedic heist film where an employee of one of the richest men in the world has had enough of his crap and he's going to try and steal millions with a fake painting. This movie relies a lot on the quick wit of its cast, the sharp sense of humor, and it just pays off. Harry Dean works for Lionel, one of the most powerful men on the planet who treats his underlings like garbage. The art expert has had enough and hatches a plan with a master forger to pass off a fake painting as one of Monet's lost works of art. For this plan to work, they're going to need the help of a Texas rodeo queen because of her pedigree. Instantly, things do not go according to plan. Dean and his team find that reality is very different than the drawing board and their loyalties are tested as they try and take down his arrogant boss. This movie starts right in on the plot nice and quickly, delivering the backstory and getting us into the main part of this film. Now, I thought this was going to be an easy to follow heist movie, but when everything went wrong, I found myself enjoying this movie a lot more. All of the missteps they take, all of the changes they have to do, and the chemistry not only amongst the crew, but how they dealt with the villain kept me chuckling, kept me laughing. This is a movie that slapped a smile on my face and kept it there. And it's the cast that makes all of that work. Alan Rickman is detestable as the bad guy. We hate this character, yet he's so charming we want to see more of him on screen. Colin Firth takes Harry, and this guy's the butt of almost every joke in the movie, yet he has this sharp British sense of humor, this dry wit that makes him the hero. Cameron Diaz, she has this down-home charm, but her accent is terrible in parts, but the cast works so well together that you forgive this movie of any of its little sins. Gambit is the remake of a 1966 film, and while its content is updated, it still has that classic comedy feel to it. You're not going to need all of your attention and all of your thought to watch it. You just need to love watching situations constantly going bad and always making you laugh.